welcome to today's episode of Does It Cut the Mustard? I'm Francois, and we brought a guest here today. His name is Brian. It's Brian. E right. And so, um, Brian is a professional on things that cut the mustard or not. He he cuts the mustard for a living, you could say. And so, Brian, if you would please, um, could you tell us about things that cut the mustard? What qualities do they have? Well, things that are cutting the mustard tend to be more flamboyant, exquisite, uh, things of love. And in some cases, they've even known to have magical powers. So now we're going to test various items and see whether or not they cut the mustard. We're going to see if the theories you have heard are true, so you can know if it cuts the mustard. Jackson again, and he's going to be testing various items and telling us whether or not they cut the mustard. All right, Jackson. All right, here we have three uh, popular things that are used these days. We have the pulling balsamic vinegar, used very often, grandma's molasses, and a BYU cup. Now we're going to see if any of these cut the mustard. Let's see if Napoleon cuts the mustard. Unfortunately, it does not cut the mustard. Grandma's molasses. Maybe this will cut the mustard. Unfortunately, neither does she. A BYU cup. Let's see if this cuts the mustard. Looks like this one cuts the mustard. Thank you for watching today's episode of Does It Cut the Mustard? Tune in for next week and we'll see if mustard cuts the mustard.